All right, welcome to Ceramics with Sheriff today. I know I'm not with you guys, but um, I'm gonna do a little video for you guys to talk to you guys about some things, and then I'll have a separate video on how to finish our coil pots that we started. So, a couple things I wanna cover. Um, we've watched videos on how to build our coil pots, and we watched videos on how to construct our pieces, how to get to this point, so today I'm gonna to finish this up in a separate video. But what we wanna start talking about is we start to do our thumbnail sketches. So yesterday you guys should have done your three columns with your three different ideas. So I had my alien idea, the things I want in them in this column. So UFO, alien abduction of a cow, desert and mountains, that was my story idea. And then I drew some things that would go in there. Um, I decided that that was the idea and the story I wanted to do for my coil pot. So what I went ahead and did, and I will post a picture of this to our channel that will be there. I went and did a final sketch. So all I did um, after I did my paper cutout, I took my cardboard cutout. You can use the paper one too. And I traced my shape twice. So one, two, one, two. So it is the actual size that my project is. Boom. Um, and then what I went ahead and did was I designed in detail my drawings. A couple things to remember. So this is what your assignment is today. I want you guys to have your final sketches complete for your coil pot. So the shape you're gonna use, exactly the same size, exactly what it's gonna look like. So once again, you can just trace that, oops, upside down. And as you can see, I added my handles on and then I drew my design on. So I have my story here. So I have my little UFO, my alien, or sorry, my alien in the UFO, sucking up that cow into a spaceship. And then my setting is those mountains in the background with some texture on the ground for some sand and my cactus. And then on the back side, I will have my little alien with sunglasses on because I thought it'd be cool. And um, the background is mountains again. So in the sky, I did some little stars that I'm gonna use a screwdriver to push in for the stars and I have a little moon. But that's basically my story. So I have two main focuses here. I have the alien on one side and I have the UFO abducting the cow on the other side. So you guys are gonna draw your final sketches. Um, they don't have to be in color if you want to, that's awesome. And then along the top, kind of like the Greek coil pot or the Greek pots we looked at, I added some um, symbols. So I did some question marks to question the existence of aliens. Um, I thought that went along. And then I had some moon phases up here so different shapes of the moon, different stages of the moon to kind of flow with my idea of outer space. And then the little stars I'm also gonna have impressed along the top. So once I finish my sketch of both sides, um, on the top, I listed my elements and principles as always. So my principles here were emphasis on these two things. I have patterns. Um, rhythm, what that is is my repetition that I'm using over and over, and then unity because it comes together as a whole. And then my elements were line, shape, form, texture, and space. So once again, this is your assignment today. So you're going to take what you started yesterday, uh, and you're going to take one of those ideas and complete a full sketch of it front and back for your coil pots. A couple other things I just want to go over. Um, if you guys find your clay is a little hard or dry and I can't really roll it and you desire it to be softer, um, go ahead if you have one at home. You probably don't want to do this in a grocery bag, but a Ziploc bag will work good. Open that Ziploc bag up and then take as much clay as you want to get softer and just rip it into some smaller chunks. And if you guys want your clay to be softer for Tuesday, I would do this this weekend. So just rip that into some smaller chunks, just like that. And then I'm gonna throw it into that bag. 
And all I'm gonna do is take a sponge with some water. I know my sponge is big. And I'm gonna stick just a little bit of water on there. I don't really want a puddle in my bag, but I want enough to kind of coat the pieces. And I'm just gonna kind of squish them around a little bit. And then I would just leave that overnight um, and it should make your clay nice and soft. Once again, I might have a little bit too much water in there. So you guys can see if I pull those pieces out, I got a little bit of water in there. Um, I think that's gonna be okay. If it does get a little too soft, you can just leave the bag open for a little bit. But that's a great way to make your clay nice and soft for our coils. So you guys can do that if you so desire. Let me see what else I wanna cover. Um, and then we're gonna move on to the design stage. So um, I'm gonna post a video next that kind of covers how to design this and how to carve your designs on with a pencil or a needle tool, whatever you guys have at home, and we'll go forward. So I hope you guys have a great day. Um, sorry I can't be here with you. Please make sure you send me this one. I need you guys to send me a message about the final sketches. If you have any questions or problems, send me a message on Teams and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And I will talk to you guys on Tuesday and I hope you have a wonderful weekend and enjoy that extra Monday off. I'll see you guys later.